This week there is a fantastic £50,000 which could be yours. We're keeping it safe until then, aren't we, Darth? The force is strong with this one. Well, it's a lot of money, Darth. So for your chance to win that £50,000 windfall, just answer this question correctly. Which band originally sang the 1983 hit Gold? A. Spandau Ballet. B. Boyzone. C. Take That. Call 09012 933333. Calls cost £1 from BT landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Text your answer A, B or C to 8336. Texts cost £1 plus one standard network rate message. Digital satellite and cable viewers can enter by pressing their red button now or enter for free at itv.com. Entrance must be 18 or over, lines close at 2 p.m. on Friday the 24th of April, and calls made after this time won't be counted, but may still be charged. Best of luck. Yeah, the best of luck. Now, there was a lot of buzzing, a bit of bickering, and some acts that blew us away. It was, of course, Saturday night's Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Snakes are too small. Wow, we are now joined by Darth Jackson, Mama Trish. Oh, Darth, were you going to say something? I'm sorry. It is an honour to be here. It's an honour to have you. Also, Mama Trish, otherwise known sometimes as Peter Coughlin. Hello, Darth. And 12 year old Shaheen Jafagoli and his mum. Karen, welcome everybody. Darth, I think we'd better start with you actually, please. So, what makes you so cool? Um, I have the force. And when, Darth, did you decide to do Michael Jackson? Well, I got fed up being a bad guy on the, on the Death Star and I wanted to try my talent doing something else. You were sort of daft by accident, weren't you? It was it didn't it didn't happen naturally. It was a it was a oh that's a good idea. Yeah, yes. And ha and ha <laughs> you may have to elaborate on that slightly, Darth. <laughs> so so how did that happen? Yes, well I had an accident fighting my old master Obi Wan. Oh I see. Oh so we're going to play the whole role all the way through, are we? Yes. And, yeah, that's and good good. Was Obi Wan into Michael Jackson? <laughs> I did not know the musical taste of Obi Wan. No, no, no. no. Okay. Well, now, on the on your next appearance on Britain's Got Talent, are you working on something else as well as Michael Jackson, or, or what we saw on Saturday night? Is that what we're going to see again? It's still Darth Vader and Michael Jackson, but it's going to be a different song. Oh, ah. very good. Well, let's see what you did on Saturday night. <laughs> In a children's lightsaber, um, a very, very stupid mask, um, doing a ridiculous impersonation of Michael Jackson. That was a brilliant act. Thank you. What do you say to, uh, to, to Simon Cowell, Darth? Simon Cowell, you underestimate the power of the dark side. Mm. <laughs> Fair enough. There we OK, are. thank you, Darth. <laughs> Well, sitting next to Mama Trish, Mama Trish, you've got power exuding out of you, glamorous power. So, you. when did you invent Mama Trish, Peter? Uh, I invented Mama Trish uh, ten years ago. I was a double act twenty-six years ago. Uh, I went to Cyprus ten years ago, mm. and I said my name was Trish, <laughs> and all the Cyprians said you're a big, big woman. All our mamas are big. Call yourself Mama. Oh. And that's how Mama came along, Mama Trish. And in the double act, were you a, a, a drag artist? Yeah, I was still a drag artist. You've always yes, been into yes, drag. Uh, yes. yes. What, okay. got, what got you into it in the first place? Uh, I went to a pub in Stafford and uh, there was a, a drag act on. And uh, I've always been outraged. I've always been camp and this, that, the other. And they just turned around and said, 
have you ever thought of doing something like this? I said, don't be silly. And it was my wife who said, you can do it. Go well, S Simon <coughs> was uh, <laughs> surprised that you uh, had, a, had a wife and family. Yes, he was. He? Well, I, I turned around to him and said, we can't all be camp then, can we, Simon? Well, <laughs> I think, in fact, we have that precise <laughs> moment on tape. Here it is. Are you married? Yes, I've been married for... <laughs> We can all be camp, Simon. We can all be camp. Now, in our, in our lives, sometimes we do things that even take us by surprise. <laughs> and as that went through then, you said, oh, here we go. Um, was the belly button fingering uh, 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 something that you did there on the spur of the moment? It, well, I, I have done it before, and then people have said, please don't do it again. So I thought, <laughs> shall I do it? And I thought, yeah, with Sam's had a go at me, I'll do it. And mm. I just did it. I thought... You know, it'll either go one way or the other. I think it backfired. I don't know whether it backfired on me, but... Your belly button backfired. I, well, I think... Well, <laughs> now, no, that no. will get you on the Royal Variety. <laughs> no. What I found quite hypocritical was Simon saying, no, I am not going to put this in front of the Royal Family. What on earth would they want to watch this for? Oh, but a topless, breast floppity lady mm -hmm. is perfectly fine for the Queen yes. and, and the and Duke of Edinburgh. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've got man boobs, obviously, so I would never go that far, but... Uh, we're all shapes and sizes, and we, I've got the talent there, and the Queen, as the, you know, the campness there, Dick Henry's my idol. Mm. I want to be the next Dick Henry. Oh, we uh, yeah. we love the Darth's juxtaposition green. of Darth yes. nodding by the mm. side there. Yes, absolutely. You made him laugh a moment ago. <laughs> Darth's hand actually went up to his face there as he, <laughs> as he laughed. You're, you're not doing this for the money, are you? No, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm do, I've done, like I said, I've done the work men's clubs for 26 years now. Uh, I've got my favourite, and she was there last week, Susan. You, you're a big fan of Susan. I am. You? I want Susan, Susan to win it. I'm, she, yeah. she, she really, <laughs> she really has taken the world by storm. Yeah, she, she has. I mean, like I said, I've done my work men's club. I've gone there now. now there. I'm Mama Trish now. Yeah. So, thank you. Britain's Got Talent yeah. again yeah. this month. Look, there she is. Yeah, any she's fabulous. To play it she's absolutely again. fabulous. She deserves to win it. Although the papers, of course, since the weekend, have been suggesting that Susan is now not the out-and-out -out favourite, but that the young man sitting next to you, Shaheen, mm -hmm. is. And we welcome Shaheen and his mum, Karen. Now, Shaheen, let's clear some things up here first, because, in fact, you have done some very good professional work as well in your young life to date. You, you did play the young Michael Jackson in the musical Thriller, didn't you? Yeah, it was a lovely experience and I enjoyed doing it. How long did you do that for? I did it for six weeks. And w in London was that? Um, no, it was touring. On the tour, OK. Yeah. So, when you stood on stage on Saturday night in front of the judges, you do you think you had an unfair advantage? Um, I don't think so, no. I just think I might have got it wrong. And I was just given another chance, you know, show what I've got. Mm. Yes, because... Well, we've got, we've got your clip here and, uh, and the, that, that moment where you were stopped and the entire nation went, what is Simon doing? Mm. Here we go. You got this really wrong. What do you sing apart from that? Who's Loving You by Michael Jackson. You want to give that a go? Lucky you went with two songs, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Thank goodness you did that. And um, and so, have you have you always been a, Mi a Michael Jackson fan? I've always been a Michael Jackson fan. I think he's got some amazing tracks up there. And um, what did you think when Simon stopped you? Um, I just I was kind of worried, and I thought that I'd blow my chance. Yeah. But when he gave me a second chance, it was it was absolutely it was amazing, and it's, I was so touched that he gave me a second yeah. chance. You must be very proud, Mum. I'm very proud indeed. It was yeah. just. Watching that again, it just makes your stomach go again. I was yeah. really nervous. 
Well, and good luck to all of you. Uh, thank you very much indeed for coming in today. Best yeah. of luck. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. It's thank lovely you. to see you. Well, now, on tomorrow's show, in an exclusive interview, we meet Jade Goody's mum, Jackie, talking about dealing with the loss of her beloved Jade. We'll see you tomorrow at 10.30. Bye.